This video will show one technique that can be used to create a shape white layer. Go under the Channels palette and scroll down to New Spot Channel. Call it white underscore ink as you see here. Click OK. Using a path of the bottle and glass that I made earlier, I'm going to turn that into a selection. Now I'm going to look at each channel and see if there is one that I can use for the white ink data. I'm going to use the data in the blue channel. So going up to Edit and Copy, I'm going to go into the white ink channel and paste. By pasting into, it will place it in perfect registration. Now I'll go to Adjustment and Invert. The reason for this is that everything that I want to print white needs to appear as black. So if I click on and off the RGB image, you can see where the white ink is as it appears as purple. This video will show how to create a shape white channel using the color range tool. Go to the channels palette and scroll down to new spot channel. Call it white underscore ink as you see here and click OK. Now go to select and scroll down to the color range tool. We will use it to select the white in the image to create our shape white layer. Use the slider to grab more or less of the white in the image and click OK. Click on the white ink channel and go under Edit and go down to Fill. We want to fill it with black, which will translate to 100% white ink in the rip. Click OK. If I click off the RGB layer, you can see where white ink will print and fill in the white in the image. Using a path that I created earlier, I'm going to make a selection to fill the background with 100% white ink. I'm going to inverse that selection so now I can fill the background. Under Edit, go back down to Fill again and fill the background with 100% black. This will allow the metallic substrate I am printing on to show through the beer bottle 